What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're anything like me, you like to use your Mac computer with non-Apple peripherals, keyboard, mouse, and so forth. And if that's the case, you've probably also noticed that the Mac scrolls a little bit weirdly, unless you didn't notice, in which case, you're weird. I've had my M1 Mac Mini for just about a week now, and especially as a convert from the Windows cap, there are a few things that obviously act differently because the two operating systems are both great, but they're different trains of thought. My biggest gripe about the Mac so far is just that it scrolls weirdly. This is probably due to the fact that Apple sells more laptops than uh, Mac Pros, iMacs, and Mac Minis probably combined. But Mac OS is an extremely trackpad focused operating system. Overall, that's not bad. Their trackpads are the best in the industry and really are phenomenal. For anyone who doesn't use Apple accessories with their computer, um, that trackpad focus has one particular effect, which is accelerated scrolling. Now, accelerated scrolling is really natural feeling for touch-based scrolling, such as on trackpads and things like that, where the longer you scroll in the direction, the faster it tends to scroll. But for a conventional mouse that doesn't have a touch scrolling option or anything like that, it's a little bit jarring. Now, I'm not sure how widespread this problem is, if it's something that I noticed and maybe other converts from Windows would notice, or if it's something that's a little bit more widespread and people just kind of learn to deal with it. And I'm sure that I could, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to just put up with something just because it's there. So I did a little bit of digging and it really didn't take long to find that a user on GitHub happened to uh, have the same issue and wrote a utility that prevents it from doing that and converts it to kind of the Windows standard three line scrolling. I'm horrible with usernames, otherwise I would give the user more credit, but I will have the link to the utility down below. So the first thing I did obviously was I went to the GitHub link and I downloaded the utility. Now this is an unsigned utility. So once you have it downloaded and you move it into your applications or your utilities folder, you'll need to right click it and say open first. And then the utility will be both installed and running. But there's one final step that we need to take and that is just to tell the Mac to run the utility every time we log in. To do that, you'll simply go to your system preferences and you'll click on users and then you'll go to login items. From here, you'll hit the plus button and you'll find your utility. So once it's added to this list, you are done. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this in the video because it is something that's more tactile and really has to do with how your finger's moving in relation to the scrolling. But just in case you can, I'll put them side by side here so you can kind of see the before and after and what the real difference is. Like I said, if you're new to the Mac uh, from Windows or if you're just otherwise kind of bothered by this when you're using a non-Apple peripheral, I hope this helps a lot. If you liked this video and especially if it was useful for you, please give me a thumbs up and consider hitting subscribe. I'll be continuing on with Mac related content for the next little while, and then we'll see where life takes us. In any case, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.